I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, uh, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. Starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. I could feel it, I could feel, like, I don't feel happy. All these people are smiling around me and making me feel like I'm, but it's, it's unauthentic. It's just something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> you I see went it? there to see the lifestyle. It was it was pretty wild. Was Watch who benefited from it. Nick Cannon used to sleep on my couch. Wow. Get out of here. 13 years old. Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy, is a remarkable music producer and an even better business owner. But he's always made rounds on social media for all the wrong reasons. As shocking as it may sound, Diddy is known for acting inappropriately with new artists, some as young as 13 years of age. Some of these artists have come forward with their experiences. The latest on the list is none other than Justin Bieber. Justin has revealed all the horrifying reasons why new artists need to steer clear of Diddy. Justin Bieber released his first song called Baby more than a decade ago. At that time, he was only 15 years of age and looked like a sweet little kid. I bet no one looked at that chubby face and thought of him as anything but a baby himself. Turns out, there are monsters lurking in the industry who would even pry on little boys. I could feel it. I could feel like... I don't feel happy. All these people are smiling around me and making me feel like I'm, but it's, it's unauthentic. One of these monsters walking free in the industry and prying on teenagers and aspiring artists is none other than the very respected and influential P. Diddy. Unfortunately, Justin had the terrible luck of falling into Diddy's hands when he was only a little kid. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, we, and we gonna go full. Crazy. Diddy has a knack for being inappropriate with people, but you would never expect him to act this way with a kid. Turns out, he has no problem sounding vague and suggestive even when it comes to a literal kid. In the video, Justin can be seen all excited and smiling ear to ear, seeing his idol and one of the biggest names of the industry talking and interacting with him must have been a memorable experience for Justin. Well, it was, until Diddy ruined it completely by acting suspiciously creepy. What could a grown man possibly want from a 13-year-old boy's company? Why would he even want to party with a kid? It's obvious that he had some ulterior motives in mind. Sometime later, Diddy called Justin out for being distant, that too on camera. It's starting to act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Diddy tries to act all casual and friendly with Justin while putting him on the spot. It's so clear from the video that Justin is uncomfortable with Diddy asking him to explain himself over why he didn't call or hang like they used to. Obviously, Diddy must have done something inappropriate for Justin to completely cut him off. Think of the starry-eyed smiling kid from a while back who couldn't contain his happiness over meeting Diddy and this teenager who looks like he wants to crawl out of his skin. The difference is alarming and really shows that Justin has suffered something at the hands of Diddy. Diddy did something to that boy, bro. Why is Bieber acting so nervous and why did Bieber stop talking to him after that little situation happened? Justin had a hard time in the industry because he shot to fame at such a young age and was surrounded by all sorts of predators. But the worst of them all is Diddy. Now he wants no one else to suffer a similar fate. Justin isn't the only upcoming artist left under the guardianship of Diddy. Thinking that Diddy is some sort of great mentor who would help them out, instead he abuses his position and his influence and harms these little kids. Justin was only one of many rappers and singers who have had similarly disgusting experiences with Diddy. In a shocking video, Diddy accidentally revealed that he slept with Usher in the same bed when Usher was just a teenager. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like... Diddy immediately tried to cover it up, but everyone's reaction to the slip of the tongue was proof that Diddy was speaking the truth. But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early. <laughs> Diddy's history with Usher is also as alarming as his and Justin's. Usher met Diddy when he was 13 years old. Even the circumstances of his introduction to Diddy were pretty similar to Justin's. Usher was sent to stay with Diddy for some time. 
Diddy was supposed to be his mentor and teach him how to navigate the industry and the music world. But once again, Diddy abused the trust people and Usher's parents had placed in him. Usher says he would never pass on the advice Diddy gave him. I had Puff as my mentor, but I wouldn't pass on any of the advice he gave me. Sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. But I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was Usher was later asked if he would allow his own kids to go to a similar camp as he went to but he straight up said no. This really proves how inappropriate Diddy had been to him during his stay at Diddy's place. 14 years old, you're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> After Usher and Bieber, Nick Cannon was also a victim of Diddy's predatory actions. Everyone sees Diddy openly acting inappropriate with young aspiring boys, and people just stand at the sidelines, watching the show. Jamie Foxx revealed that Diddy had also been involved with Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon used to sleep on my couch. Wow. 13 years old. Just like Usher and Nick, Justin was being sexualized and objectified when he was still practically a baby. From being kissed and groped in public and even during red carpets, Justin has known from a young age what it means to be objectified. He called people out on acting weird during the red carpet events. Wow, I feel violated right now. Once a reporter even asked a 15-year-old Justin to give her a sex talk, which left Justin as flabbergasted as it just left you. I mean, who asks a little kid that sort of question during an interview? Thankfully, Justin didn't take any of this disrespectful behavior and immediately called her out. Why do you want to know this talk from a 15-year-old boy? That's pretty weird. All this affected Justin to the point that he was left incapable of having normal loving relationships. He even developed a drug addiction and it almost ruined his life. I started doing pretty heavy drugs at 19 and abused all of my relationships. I became resentful, disrespectful to women, and angry. I became distant from everyone who loved me, and I was hiding behind a shell of a person that I had become. I felt like I could never turn it around. It's taken me years to bounce back from all of these terrible decisions, fix broken relationships, and change relationship habits. After Usher corrupted Justin and made him look at the industry in a different light, Justin had the misfortune of falling into the hands of Diddy's prodigy. Usher became Justin's guardian, and it was clear that the singer had some habits of his mentor. Could it be true that Usher became exactly like the man who ruined his childhood? The music industry is a cruel place, and it's not a place for kids to grow up in. On top of this, being left at the mercy of monsters like Diddy is the worst fate that these young artists could have had. Coincidentally, all these artists were mere boys of 13 years of age. All this cannot be a coincidence. Diddy's habits and predatory nature isn't surprising at all for anyone. He's always up to something sinister. He hosts wild parties and even lets kids and teenagers drink. His parties almost sound like they are the safe haven for gay men, where these powerful men from the industry fulfill all their sexual desires. Diddy's animated sexual endeavors can also be noted from the fact that the music producer went to a public place to get dildo. He then proceeded to use them the same night with a rising rapper. Another rapper, Cameron, found dildo in Diddy's bathroom. And I went to use a bathroom and it was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. Diddy's the sort of person who makes even grown men uncomfortable. He hits on rappers and artists without even finding out if they're gay. He once asked 50 Cent to go shopping and made him so uneasy, he hasn't stopped talking about it since. He said something to me one time, a long time ago, a at Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? If he can make adults so uncomfortable, imagine how terrible it must have been for teenagers like Justin and Usher to bear him. After all, they believed that their success in the industry depended on Diddy's guidance and influence. Now they have revealed the truth so that no new artist has to suffer at the hands of Diddy. Hopefully, all new artists will take heed from these horrifying stories and stay as far away from Diddy as possible. One fan was so incredibly angry at the situation she wrote, I mean, even if Diddy didn't Busher, his oldest son's mom, was 16 when she gave birth. Diddy was effing 24. The industry has been full of predators, rapists, and pedophiles. This shit's never been new, but it's always been ignored and brushed under the rug. And you know what? We totally agree. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.